clock. A clock consists of an hour hand, a minute's hand, and a second's hand. Hours. The short hand of the clock is called the hour hand as it measures hours. These are marked from one to twelve on a clock. Minutes. The long hand of the clock is called the minute hand as it measures the minutes. There are sixty marks in a clock that show minutes. Seconds. Some watches and clocks have a long and slender hand called the seconds hand. This takes every second. So now we know the big divisions one to twelve in a clock indicate the hours. The sixty parts on the clock show minute. Remember, between two big divisions. There are five minutes. Twelve divisions into five parts of minutes equals sixty. In a day, there are twenty-four hours. Each hour has sixty minutes, and each minute has sixty seconds in it. Thus, the hour hand of a clock will take. One full circle in a day. The minute hand will take one full circle in an hour, and the second hand will take one full circle in a minute. To read time from a clock, we will read the minute and the hour hand. First, we will see the short hand. To find the hour, in the picture above, the hour hand is pointing to number one, and the minute hand is pointing to the number fifteen. Look at the outside of the clock. So it is one fifteen or one fifteen. You can also use the red hour marks. To count the minutes by fives, five, ten, fifteen, etc. Notice that the hour hand is not pointing exactly at one, but has moved a little to the two. As the minute hand moves all the way around the clock, the hour hand moves from one hour to the next. When it's on the hour, we say o'clock.